So we just left out of Harry Harris Park. We're gonna run out about five miles. You should know that within three miles, no spearfishing. It is a no take for spearfishing. You're allowed to fish, you're allowed to grab lobster in certain areas, but we have to go a little offshore. Uh, we're usually used to it. That's usually where that second and third reef starts. So we're gonna go out to five miles. We've got a few locations that we're gonna check out. We've got a bunch of chum on the boat. You saw we made those chum balls yesterday, so we're gonna see what those things do down here. All the people down here say that it brings in some really nice yellowtail. Hopefully all that stuff goes down to the bottom and it can bring in some grouper. Hogfish season is closed, so we aren't allowed to take any hogs. Uh, that ended October 31st. Grouper's still open through the end of the year for most species, but uh, we're gonna see what we can find. Stay tuned, tune in, like, subscribe, comment, share with everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. So welcome back. We are in Key Largo. We are going to make some chum balls. So we've got some chum, uh, we've got some other ingredients, some sand, some water. We are going to make some chum balls. We're going out on the reef tomorrow. So uh, we've got our trusty mixer. All right, so we're gonna mix the corn, the oats, the sand, and the water. We're gonna make chum balls. Uh, hopefully it will stay together. Um, it is all mixed to feel, so you are going to have to use your own mixture. We're going to add a little bit of water in there. It's just like back when you were a kid and you were making sand balls at the beach. You want that to sit in the water for long enough to where it doesn't break apart right when it goes in the water, but when it gets down to the bottom of the seafloor. So we're hoping that it's going to uh, make the corn float as well as the oats not as fast as the corn and the chum following all of that stuff floating up will give us almost a column of chum going from the seafloor all the way up to the surface we'll be able to dive through that and hopefully there will be different fish at different areas of the water column So we are out on the reef. We are approximately five miles out in between Sand Island, Alligator Reef to the south. We've got a buoy out. We've got some chum out. We're dropping those chum balls. We're going to wait a few minutes before we all get in the water, see if that brings in a little bit of wildlife. But uh, we are in 30 feet of water. There is a nice little drop off right over here that goes down to 40. So we're trying to set up a drift right now where we can drift over that deeper water. Some of these pelagics like to hang out right on the skirt of all these reef. So we look for these sandy areas just on the other side of the reef. And uh, you usually see some Syrah, some Spanish, hopefully some grouper roll in, but we're gonna get at it. Stay tuned.
Tally ho. Right behind you. So if you have stayed tuned this far, we just got back. We were out off of the reef in Key Largo, getting the boat cleaned up. Jerome absolutely crushed it today. I mean, he he filled the cooler for us. We got a few uh, lionfish. Always good to take those off of the reef. We got a nice yellow jack. Uh, we got a nice mutton snapper. And the mangrove out there were all time. I mean, just perfect size mangroves feeds at least two people but thank you guys so much for tuning in we really enjoy you guys watching all of our videos we're really having a great time doing this like comment subscribe thank you guys so much we'll see you again next time